Hello guys, it's so nice to meet you again. On this new video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to edit wooden and fabric material on our previous project. The simple dining chair that we that I show you how to create on my previous video. This is the final result. Okay, let's get started. On first, we will add the wood wooden material on our chair, like like the picture shown here. It, what to all you have to do is. First, go to material slot here, and then click new, and you can pick maybe a light brown, like this. And then go to texture slot here and click new. Oh, maybe we can just name this material with wood. And then make sure the type here is image or movie choose both for the preview and then image here click open look on your texture folder we have and then I want to use this material then click open image you can see it's already here you can see in the preview slot and then in the mapping option choose generate choose group and let's get test render This is the If you like the, the the result of our wood material that we apply on chair, if you want to make the texture more, you can just click on image mapping, increase the x and y repeat like maybe three. And let me change the sample because the sample is very quicker. And then let's try again. Render. See, you can see more texture on the chair. But I like to keep it on 
only for one. It's the default area. Okay. And then next, we will add for the fabric. You can, as always, make sure to add material first, then texture. You have to remember material first and then texture. So click new here and then maybe rename to fabric. I already have fabric material here, so... I'm gonna just choose from my list here. I already add. Now you can change the diffuse color here if you like. Maybe that maybe looks like uh, the our fabric color. Maybe just change. That. and then on specular intensity make it zero and then I'm gonna choose new and like the wood material click open look for your texture folder I'm gonna use this Again, can you repeat? And then make sure it generate. Oops. And then let's test render. Okay, now if you want to apply material on this back sheet, the support sheet here. Yeah. Because we already create the same material on this object, we can use the material on this object. You just have to click on this icon, Browse Material Tooling, and then click Fabric. Now, they have the same material. Let's test render. I increased my sample value so it's a little longer. And I think it looks good for now. On this lighting, I use two light. It's hemi, and then 
I setting the ambient occlusion on what just make sure you check this box and then you can increase the sample value here to make the render result more smooth the more sample it will longer it will take more time to render the default is 5 with the value lower then it's faster to render let's try again I'm gonna keep it then maybe and render image Okay, this is the final result. I hope this short tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you for watching and I see you later on another video. Bye!